Hello, everybody, and happy Wednesday. Congratulations, you've made it halfway through the week. And not only that, but we're doing a live unboxing. And behind me is Miss Vanna. It's her birthday! Woo-woo! Happy birthday, Brenda! Really? Yeah. She's gonna, she loves me now. I'm here to do a live unboxing of some new mode of fabrics, Henry Glass and Robert Kaufman. I'm gonna turn it around and just go ahead and get started. This is the panel featuring from Stacy Itsu's line, Farmstead. I apologize, I'm sure I'm butchering her last name. But we are a big fan of Stacy's. She has quite a few different lines. This one has a very kid kind of vibe to it but also vintage farm so farmstead has all these fun different vintage prints including ginghams milk bottles cherries i'm going to show you but this first one is this panel a one yard panel comes in two different colorways both a multi and a porcelain these blocks are perfect if you want to do a town square three yard quilt pattern makes a nice square lap. I think that these animals have a very Charlotte's Web vibe. Both of these panels are going to retail at $12.99. And there is a third panel that is gonna retail for $13.99 because it is a 60 inch panel. It is an activity panel. So you get to make an activity book. Of course, Mode is fantastic when they write their instructions on the panel themselves. So not only is it an activity book, but you get to make finger puppets and different flaps and stuff. This one's going to be fantastic to make for a Christmas gift. So that are the, those are the panels, and then here are the beautiful coordinates to go with them. So it is a large line. There's actually, I think, 36 pieces total. Um, beautiful gingham prints here. Lots of muted bright colors if that makes sense so instead of having a bright sky blue it's more of a muted blue instead of a barn red it's more of a muted barn red we also have these fun animal directional prints i have a couple kits to show you as well i don't know why but when i look at this i just remember the book charlotte's web when i was a kid because the little drawings that were here and there within the books were very much so like these, like little sheep, the goats, the big fat pig, not saying that's Wilbur, but you never know. Some little chickadees, comes in four colorways, this denim blue, a dark brownish, if you will. It's not a grayish, it's not a taupe, it's, it's more of a dark soil. I think they actually call it soil. There's a beautiful like pistachio color and a lighter porcelain. These prints are super fun. It's like an advertisement. It is directional and you get to see all these fun different advertisements of farm things, feed sacks, if you will. This one comes in three colorways. So you have the porcelain cream, the reds, I love it, and then the multicolor. So even if it was, you know, something that was a little bit background, borders, if you will, it's very cute. We have this really adorable landscape as well. The denim blues, this gorgeous, like I said, it's like a soil color. And that makes all the rest of these colors just completely pop with the greens and the reds. I love the detail of these prints. Here it is in another light green and that cloud porcelain background. So you can see all the sky prints in it just really pops. The next one are these old milk bottles. I absolutely love these. If I showed them to my children now, they probably wouldn't understand it, right? Because they don't know what glass milk bottles are, but I love this. I especially love the red and denim blue prints. It is so adorable, very cute. A nice size print that you could still fussy cut them out and use into little squares. The blenders are these amazing wheat blenders in four colorways. The reds, the golds, the taupe and porcelain. These cherries are adorable as well. This is what gives me this entire like vintage farm vibe. Nice size, very doable to add into your quilt blocks 
borders, stripes, if you will. And then the final print are these gorgeous farm florals. Nice big floral prints. She had a similar one from Ponderosa when Stacy did that line. She just added a little something extra to these ones. Absolutely love them. You have these cute little bees floating around, little ladybugs, the butterflies, and lots of different florals. This actually comes in five different colorways. This one here is like the gold, the porcelain, which these flowers and the salmon pink color really pop. The brick red, again, this charcoal color, and the denim blue. Beautiful. So even if you think farmstead, you think kids, but this has adorable spring type floral vibes as well. We have two quilt kits available with this line. This one finishes at 62 inches square. Both of these patterns were written by Stacy. So she had the line in mind when she made them. This one uh, finishes, like I said, 62 square. It's going to retail for 115. This other one uses the panel, the one that is porcelain. So you have the animals on the porcelain background. Lots of beautiful fabrics. I'm gonna tell you this one retails for a little bit more. It's a 75 inch square, but there's over nine yards of fabric on this one. And this one is for 130. So those are our farmstead options. The next one I'm going to show you is so adorable. This is from Henry Glass. I myself am very preferential to this one. Not only do I love the fact that these are big kitties, I love everything cheetah and leopard print, but the colors and the tones that Shelly Comiskey picked are perfect for new mothers. They love the muted, they love the neutrals, and this panel is absolutely perfect for the rest of the line. It retails for $8.35, and it is a two-thirds yards panel. I do have a quilt kit to go along with it. But first, let me show you the rest of these prints. The nice thing about Shelly when she makes a line, she doesn't necessarily duplicate prints. So these are all gonna be different for the most part, I believe, yeah. And they all stay in that same color palette. So we've got these adorable little cheetahs. This one is both the kitties. So you can see the lions, the tigers, the leopards, the cheetahs. Again, in those taupe, grayish, charcoal colors. Here's some lions with this beautiful little geometric line background print. These are like a paw print, but not so much so that it actually looks like a paw print. So it could very easily be a blender into another project. We have these adorable packed animals. All the big kitties can be seen here. This is a directional print. This one is all like leaping leopards. Like this one, he just looks like he's ready to pounce. I absolutely love him. So adorable. We've got the animal skin prints as well. So we've got the tiger stripes, the cheetah prints. Down here at the end is the leopard print, which is different. A very adorable print. We've got a beautiful, I mean, look at all this cuteness that is this border stripe. I think she is so cute. She's going to have to come home. I wish I had a baby in my life that I could make this quilt for. Who am I kidding? I'll make it for myself. This patchwork one is great to use for the backing of this quilt kit I'm going to show you. We have the Toss Tigers and of course a fantastic plaid for those bindings. Here is the quilt kit for this one. It was written by Fabric Addict. Add addict. Addict. It is a 43 by 48 project. I love that they use the entire panel on this one. It's called panel cut up. So you're going to use that big print in the center and all six of those smaller squares that were framing it are also used with a couple extra borders. They use the border stripe as well. A great purchase price at only $57. So that one's called panel cut up. I love it. And the last one I want to show you is from... Robert Kaufman. This is new Dr. Seuss line. It's called Celebrate Seuss. You can find all these on our website as well. 
This is a one yard panel. The best pattern I can show you for it is from Villa Rosa's. It's called Fish and Chips. I'll show you that here in a second. But this is going to retail at $12.50. A great purchase for those that are looking to make a small project for Christmas. And I've got four new prints to go with it. Very much so. Cat in the Hat, Horton Hears a Who, Oh, the Places You'll Go. We have other Dr. Seuss collections as well that would add into this, but just great, bright, bold prints, very Dr. Seuss. And here is that pattern. You'll see here what they use is that one yard panel and then different fabrics from within the line. So great option for you. All of this is available on our website already at SoStormQuilting.com. You can check it all out there. Reminder, check out that newsletter. We will be closed next week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday for Thanksgiving. So if you're shopping with us online, mail won't go out until after the Thanksgiving holiday if you order later part of next week. And also starting on Small Business Saturday, we are going to be doing our holiday extravaganza. So you'll want to check out the information for that as well. Otherwise, have a great day. Stay warm. It's really quite chilly out, if I do say so myself. But if you want to, you can always drop a comment to say happy birthday to Brenda. She's giving me a look. <laughs> and you guys have a great week and keep sewing up a storm. Bye.